friends we are going to analyze an important aspect we have to understand that CSITA is a property management company and not a property owning company so the question arises whether CSITA or beneficiaries of missionary donated property companies who among these are able to sell the missionary donated properties administrated by CSITA. The properties administrated by CSITA which is a property management company and therefore none of the employees of CSITA or officers of CSITA are able or legitimately eligible to sell missionary donated properties bestowed on them by as on the capacity of only custodians. The custodians here in the trustees of CSITA have been rendered defunct since 2020. There are no directors in CSITA. Neither the employees of CSITA are legitimately eligible to administrate a directorless company. Therefore, the answer is simple. CSITA cannot sell any property of missionary donated properties bestowed or given to them only to be administrated by the CSITA company which is presently defunct. Number two, who can sell the properties of missionary donated uh, companies? The beneficiaries of the original missionary donated properties have to form a coalition of like-minded people and get declaration from the court of law as recognized as beneficiaries. Then they can conduct elections to administrate the property and they can consider majority of the Protestant Christians to buy the properties and only the properties can be sold to Protestant Christians. Now how can non-Protestant Christians own these properties and what happens to the properties which have been sold from 1940s till date? The properties from 1940s till date which have been sold are being identified and all sale deals nullified as per the limitation of Properties Act, CPC 92. Therefore, it is a loss for the persons who have sold the property and also for the persons who have purchased the property are more at loss and can file cases of cheating against people who have sold properties. Knowingly, if they have sold, it is tantamount to cheating. Unknowingly, if they have sold, they have to refund the principal money which has been collected at the time of the sale by the respective sellers. Now, if the properties have been sold to Protestant Christians, there is no, no need to panic as these pro properties belonging to Protestant Christian missionary donated companies are and can be sold to Protestant Christians and can be developed by Protestant Christians without any NOC or any objection from any person from the same community. Now, number four, how to legitimize properties which have been sold by Protestant Christians to non-Protestant Christians. There are many legalities by which the properties which have been sold to non-Protestant Christians by Protestant Christians can be worked upon. They cannot, the sale deed will be cancelled. However, with beneficiaries who are recognized by the court of law as beneficiaries of missionary donated companies properties, the beneficiaries can join in union and sort out the problem by cancelling the sale deed and selling it to a protestant Christian. The same protestant Christian cannot lease or sell it out to non-protestant Christians or non-Christians. 
but there are internal technicalities with the parent donor guidelines and conditions by which we can work out a strategy and legitimize a sale by a irrevocable lease provision now some people say that there are many litigations pending in the court of law the litigations which are pending are petty in nature most of them are administrative related number 3 they are related to misappropriation of funds by csita employees they are not related to ownership rights they are not related to any rights pertaining to the purchase or sale of property therefore all protestant christian properties in south india administered by csita are non litigated the titles of the parent document of parent donor companies remain with the parent donor itself the beneficiaries are the legitimate legitimate owners and beneficiaries of these properties therefore one can sell properties using the rightful provisions in the original guidelines given by the missionaries for more details for legitimate selling and buying of protestant christian missionary donated properties please feel free to contact allied law at 6369197933 we are here to legally advise you on how to deal effectively with all mulgini and chalgini properties in karnataka tamil nadu and kerala thank you friends